now call upon Jimmy Wales to conclude the case for the Crown.
hear these cases of, well, activists can do this and they can be caught or they can be threatened. The point is the activists are still doing this. Why do they still do it? Why are they choosing to do this? And it's because they know if you go to these people who are under very dangerous conditions to share things on the internet, they're doing it because it is the most effective tool that they have available to them. So the fact that, yes, people are at risk when they're using the internet in these ways, um, well, that's because they're heroes and that's what heroes do. Uh, my final story is, is about China. Um, China, of course, as we all know, uh, has a very restrictive internet regime. Wikipedia is completely blocked in China. But one thing a lot of people don't know is that about half of the people who edit in Chinese Wikipedia edit from mainland China. We have a very large community there, a very active community. Uh, and I always like to, in a lot of my talks when I have uh, PowerPoints, I like to say to people, you know, what's going to change? What's going to bring down the totalitarian government in China? Is it going to be, uh, you know, so here's a picture. Is it going to be guns? Is it going to be tanks? Is it going to be missiles? No, it's going to be KJ. KJ is a 25-year-old girl who lives in Taiwan. And every day what KJ does is she is on Skype and she is talking to the mainland Wikipedians and she's helping them get through the firewall. So she's teaching them how to use uh, Siphon. She's teaching them where the open proxies are. She's running interference for them in making sure that the uh, open proxies are available for editing in Wikipedia. Every day this is something that she's doing and every day she's bringing a little bit more democracy and information and freedom to China. Uh, this is going on all the time in hundreds of thousands of ways all over the world. All of these uh, censorship regimes are porous. They're becoming more porous. They will become more porous. And we do have to fight them both at a political level. We can't be blasé about the danger of the censorship. Uh, but I'm very confident that the internet will route around censorship. Uh, so to sum up, uh, I guess the, the, the main thing that I wanted to say is that we have heard a lot of things about the dangers, the risks, and so on and so forth. But if we believe that democracy is fundamentally about choosing, about individuals choosing the life they want to lead, the life that makes uh, them happy, then we can't poo-poo pop culture and fun on the internet. Uh, if, we, if we believe that uh, activists know what they're doing, individual activists who are trying to change the world, if they know what they're doing, we have to respect the fact that they seem to be telling us the internet is the tool that's the most important for them. So I urge you to support the proposition tonight. Thank you.